And in today's video, we're just going to be talking about WeChat and IRC. I have switched over to using Fedora here, uh, Fedora Linux, and this is probably what I'm going to be using for a, just a little bit here. Um, you guys all gave fantastic recommendations. I asked on the community tab or whatever here on YouTube. I put out a post asking what you guys thought I should come back to uh, from OpenBSD. Uh, since I was going to, I'm going to be doing some game development work. Uh, I want to get back into doing that and just OpenBSD wasn't a good option, but um, thank you guys for all giving recommendations. It seems like Arch won, but Arch is having some issues for some reason on this system. So I might be going with Void. Uh, just wanted to let you guys who voted or who knew about it at, le at least let you know. Also, let everyone else know if you're a new viewer around here. I do put out posts and if for some reason you don't see them or you want to stay in the loop, you might want to check the community tab every once in a while on the channel. That way you see the post, but let's get back to the subject of this video. IRC. What is it? Um, it's pretty much instant messaging similar to discord, but you don't really share images and videos and stuff like, through there you I mean you could share them as links and someone could easily copy it or you know click it and go and view it somewhere else but it's more like just a chat room it's very much a chat room you're going to connect to a network and then that network has channels on it like I have a channel on there, hashtag UnixTube, on a specific network, the LibraChat network, and you can connect on there. There's Freenode as well. There's there's a lot of different ones. It's kind of it's kind of like joining a particular Discord server and then joining channels on that server kind of similar if you think of it that way. If you're familiar with Discord or things like Discord, so. The only major difference to probably the chat programs that you're using if you haven't ever used IRC before is most other ones keep keep the log of all the chat like when you're gone on IRC. Typically that's not set up. You can get it set up so that you're always recording the log, um, but you'll need to be there. Um, that's how you'll record the log. It's not just kept somewhere and then given to you. So take with that what you will, but that's IRC. And if you're interested in getting into IRC, the program that I would recommend is WeChat. It's very good. Now here on Fedora for me to do that, let me go over here to another workspace and let me, I'll just go ahead and load up a terminal and we're going to do sudo yum. Oh, if I could type install and we're going to install WeChat and we're going to give it my password and then it'll ask us if we want to install it and we do. So we'll give it a Y and bada bing, bada boom. It's installed. If you're using something like Arch, it would be Pacman dash capital S and then WeChat um, on pretty much every package manager is going to have WeChat in there. It's it's a pretty popular IRC option. So you can pretty much get it anywhere you are. Now, I will say one thing as well. The reason I choose WeChat is their documentation is fantastic. They have a really good quick start guide. It's in multiple different languages. And here in English, if we click on the English option, we are going to go through this after we've installed it, which since we have, we can just go ahead and load it up. I believe it's, um, oh no, it is just WeChat. Perfect. Okay. So let me make this a window over here. So when you open up WeChat for the first time, uh, again, WeChat is a, I, I actually don't know if I said this or not, which is kind of important. WeChat is a terminal based, um, IRC client. You could get ones that are not the ones that are graphical, but this is the one that I use and it's perfectly fine. I mean, most people are going to use IRC from the terminal. So, um, yeah, uh, let's just continue on with how to use it now that you've got it installed and opened because 
even though it's open, you're not connected to a network. You're not connected to any particular servers, uh, uh, not really servers, uh, excuse me, channels. So if you tried to message someone right now, I mean, it's going literally nowhere. So we need to set it up. And this quick start guide is fantastic. So if you're wanting to connect to my RC channel or someone else's on the Libra chat, then the WeChat guide here is perfect for you because that's what they use in the guide. So you can just go down here to, you can, you can, I, I would recommend reading through all of this and making sure that you to understand what, what, what's going on. Cause this is just, it covers some basic stuff. So stuff up here. Good Lord, if I could speak. And once you get down to adding an IRC channel or server, it's pretty easy. You're just going to copy the server name. Uh, or again, if you want to go to the Libra chat network, then you're just going to copy this. And again, it explains so uh, what's going on there. If we just control shift V and run that, you'll see we've now added the server Libera and that's Libera.chat, Libra.chat, however you want to say it. And now, <coughs> okay, voice crack, awesome. Now all we want to do is set up our IRC nickname. IRC, good Lord, I cannot talk. So if we post this in here, and then I want my nickname to be Zany, and it will give you some, some extra ones as kind of backups. And... Then we want to do, we want to add our real name and username. And so we can simply paste this in here. My real name, because I'm never tried not to hide it. Tyler Kelly, and we'll throw that in there. And then copy this, paste this in here. Oh, wait, that was my username. Oh, shit, I'll need to rerun that. Uh, so here we'll put in Tyler Kelly. My username is Zany. So, all right. And then we want to also auto connect to the server here. So we're going to go ahead and copy that and paste this in here. Okay. I guess we have to do it that way. I have, I have no idea why it's doing that. I think it's because I double clicked on it. So. I have no idea. What you can do is you, you can do a couple different ways of actually securing your account and for whatever network. And so what I recommend doing is going over to Libera chat, if this is where you want to connect to, and they have a guide here. And what you'll want to do is go down to, um, the registering, uh, I just want to make sure I choose the right one. Yes. So nickname registration. So you can go down through here, go through the registering your stuff, um, and then logging in and you'll want to configure SS, a S A S L do this, re register a nickname, and then also go through here and they have a specific one i believe for wechat right down here and so this is how you'll configure ssl and how you can set up um, everything here specifically for it and it's pretty simple um, pretty simple to run through and then all you'll want to do after you've done all that is that which is also part of this over here um, but we'll go ahead and do it from here so my username is Zany, and uh, now we need to do my password, which I'm sure I'm going to black out the screen right now while I'm doing this because I don't want to show my password. And what I will throw up is my fantastic Patreon supporters. And these guys help the channel out a ton. I I don't think I could do this without you guys. Okay. It means a lot that anybody financially supports the channel. It means an absolute incredible amount. So if you want to join these fantastic people, I recommend you go over there and join it. Um, now I need to clear or get rid of 
all of this shit because it's showing my password still. So I guess I'm just going to have to throw up uh, something above the video, like a black square or something, because I can't have that showing. After we've done all that, because that's not for us, we're going to connect. So, um, yes. So we're going to connect to LibreChat. And then we are going to join our channels, which we should also, maybe I skipped it. I hope I did not. Oh, I did. We do need to do this. We skipped this critical point here. I always do that when I'm running through here. I'm just excited to actually connect to it, like be done. But here we go. We also need to run this. We'll just paste this in here. And we're going to join Unix to comma. And we're also going to join OpenBSD because I like to be on their IRC. And then enter. And so now we will automatically join those servers. But since we forgot to put do that first, we can just copy this right here. Paste it here. And so we're going to join Unix to and Hashtag open BSD. And bada bing, bada boom, we are connected. And so Alt 1, so you could switch to different servers if you got multiple ones with different channels. And then you can switch between your actual channels that you're in. And so we're in the Unix chat here, or Unix tube chat here. Uh, so yeah, this is pretty much really all you need to know. Um, if there's anything specific past this, just know that the WeChat documentation covers a lot. If you need to, know, if you want to know any of the key bindings, just it, and it's not a crazy amount of documentation. It's pretty straightforward. Now, I haven't spent the time to make sure I know every single key binding and all the possibilities that you can do, because there is a lot that you can do with WeChat. Again, there's um, plugins and scripts, so you can you can extend WeChat. Um, there's a lot of stuff that you can do, but now, now that we're connected, I could easily send a message. Uh, we are recording a video here. Say hi, boys. And maybe we'll get a response back before we end the video. But this is how you set up and start using IRC. We, we did get a response. So look, if you want to come and join us over on the hashtag UnixTube channel on Libera's or Libra's uh, server, come on, come on over check us out. We, we try to be pretty nice. I, I don't think we got any like bad actors here, but you know, fingers crossed to stay that way. Thank all of you guys for watching the video. I hope you found this informative. Uh, if you have any tips, uh, tricks or anything else that you know about IRC and WeChat that you think might help others, please leave a comment down below, expand on what I've said here. You guys share back and forth different, different cool things, you know, about IRC and yeah. Um, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. I'm going to try and do more videos like this. We're going to have some Linux game development coming back here before too long. And we might also have some, some void Linux content, maybe here, here before too long. Maybe, maybe let, let, let me know in the comments if you want to see that. Thank you guys for watching the video and I hope everyone has a fantastic rest of the day. Take care. Bye-bye.